It's Bible time with Kelly and Luke. Hey everybody, it's Kelly and Luke. And today we're going to learn about two build two builders. Yes. And we're going to be in the Bible, in the book of Matthew. Matthew, that's right. Now, the Bible is what? God's word. And you know it is true. Everything God tells us in the Bible is true. That's right. Everything God tells us in the Bible is true. Now, today, like we said, we're going to be in the book of Matthew. This is where Jesus was teaching the people in something called the Sermon on the Mount. And we're going to be just doing a short part from the end of it, from Matthew chapter 7. This is talking about two kinds of builders. Now, Luke likes building, right? Yeah. Yes, he calls himself construction worker. We love to build. So this is a story that Luke has really been enjoying lately. So when you build, Luke, do you have to have a strong foundation? Yes. Yes, you do. We have two kinds. There's the first kind who built his house on the rock. On the rock. So we went out and got rocks, and we have put a house on a stick down in the rocks. And Jesus says, everyone who obeys him, puts their trust in him, follows his teachings, that that person is like the builder who built his house on the, yeah. on the rock. So he's got a really strong foundation to his house. If he follows Jesus' teachings, puts his trust in him, and obeys him, and it's like that man. What kind of man do they call this one? Wise or foolish? Wise. Wise, that's right. A very wise man does the things that Jesus says. And Jesus takes it even further. He says, can you get the, the rain? He says that the rains came. The winds howled and whistled and roared. And the rains were just pouring down. And guess what? This wise man's house. Can you pour some of this water into here for me, Luke? Just like it's raining. The wise man's house. Guess what? The water is coming up. And that house is staying strong. Is that house falling down? Yeah. No, it's doing good. Because he was a wise man and he built his house on the Rock. On the rocks, that's right. Because that is how Jesus says we are like this wise man building his house on the rock if we put our trust in Jesus and we obey him, we follow and do what he says. Then when the storms come, when things get tough, our house, did this one fall? No, no it stood strong. So that's what Jesus compares obeying him and following his teachings to being like the, what kind of man? Wise man. The wise man. All right. Now we have one more kind of man we're going to talk about. Okay. So now we have our second house. Okay. The second kind of builder. Now this man is called, is he wise or what was the word? He, he was a foolish man. Foolish means he wasn't making very good choices. It was not a very smart thing to do. What did he build his house on, Luke? Sand. On sand? Does sand seem like a very strong foundation for a house? No. No, it's not. And Jesus compares the foolish man to someone who doesn't obey what Jesus says and doesn't put their trust in Jesus. Let's see what happens. Jesus says that this time when the rains came and the winds howled and roared and whistled and just pouring down rain, let's see what happens to the foolish man's house. So just like the rain, let's see if his house 
Get it all around like it's storming. Oh my. Oh no! What happened to the foolish man's house? It fell down. It fell down. Look at that. It just fell down. Oh dear. So was that a very good foundation to build his house on? No. No, it wasn't. It made his house just fall down. So this is like the person who doesn't what? What did we say? Obey. Who doesn't obey Jesus and doesn't do the things that Jesus tells us to do and to put our trust in him. So this was, was this man wise or foolish? Foolish. Foolish. Luke, which person do we want to be like? The foolish man or the wise man? Wise man. Why do we want to be like the wise man? Because we want to be in God and build a house on the rock. On the rock. Jesus is our rock. And he's the one that we need to believe in and trust in and do what he tells us. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Can, can we do it again?